I don't know. There seems to be trouble in this palace. Uh, because uh, the attitude in this palace today has been very unusual. There is this unusual calmness. To the extent that the queen even sent for no war gently. Something is wrong. My brother, you are very correct. I've also noticed that there's something wrong today. This whole palace has been so unusual. Everywhere yes. calm. Like an angma don't wanna. Ah, you see, you see it. Mm. That's what that was my, my feeling. That's why I said, let me come and meet you. If you know what is happening. Forget. I'm supposed to be asking that it's coming from inside the palace. I, mean, I don't know what is happening now. Yeah? But uh, let's be hopeful. Let's cross our arms. It's all right. Let me go back to my duty post. But should in case you hear any information, just uh, understand. You let me know. Let yeah, me go back to my You are doing place. well. You are doing well. You are doing better. Adobe, come, let me ask you. There seems to be trouble in this palace today. I don't know. Things are just somehow. Is there ah, any problem? Man, Won't you mind your business? You want to know everything in this palace. I don't blame you now. I'm the one that stopped you to ask you questions. That's why you have the girls to talk to me anyhow. See, don't mind her. Anyway. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Go to Onogu's house. In fact, run to his house. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Tell him it's needed at the palace right away. As your majesty pleases. Hello? Hello, son. How are you, darling? Mm. Oh, everything is fine. Just that I want you to take the next available flight and come back tomorrow. I know, I know what you said. And next month is too far. Even tomorrow is farther. My love, don't be confused. You are needed here. We want you here. I want you to come back tomorrow. Just take the next available flower. What is too big in that one to do? Come back tomorrow. Sorry about that. But once you wake up tomorrow, just go to the airport and take the next available flight and come back to Nigeria. I I'll talk to you again, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, babe. We will be traveling to Nigeria first thing tomorrow morning. I'm being real here, babe. I know we planned to 
travel in two months time but something came up so i have to really be in nigeria tomorrow you can come with me yeah let's let's go you know I'm, i think i'll be staying for long this time so I know you can't wait for me for that long, so just pack your stuffs. First thing tomorrow morning, we're out of here. All right, man. See you later. Bye. Was he here? And he said your attention is urgently needed at the palace. So. Urgently needed at yes, the palace? Papa. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Let me rush back. Okay. Yeah. You don't want to eat? No, no, when I come back. Okay. Your Majesty. Ah. Oh, no. Your majesty. Yes. Huh? Thank goodness you're here. Why the urgent um, invitation? And the calmness around the palace? Oh no. There is trouble. The Igwe is in a critical condition. As we speak, he cannot move any part of his body. In fact, he's unconscious. So I called for you to come so that you'll be here before the doctor arrives to attend to him. Doctor, yeah, hello. what exactly is wrong with our king? Well, I can't really say for now. But we must move His Majesty to the hospital immediately to run some other tests for wait, proper wait, examination. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Do Doctor, are you, are you saying you do not know what's wrong with our king? Is that what you're saying? Oh no. As you can see, His Majesty has run into coma. We have to move in immediately since we can't bring any equipment to run any test here. Yes. Um, in that case, doctor, please take good care of our king. Make sure our king stays alive. He's the king and the future of this kingdom. Of course, you know. He must stay alive. I'll do my best, you know. Please. Let's kiss him. Majesty, have you called the prince to inform him of the situation on ground? Yes, I did. I called him a while ago, just before you came. Good. And you told him exactly the way things are? No, I, I, I didn't. I only urged him to come home. I didn't want to tell him, even though he insisted on knowing why the urgent demand for him to come home. I still didn't tell him because I just didn't want him to panic. But, but why? You think that is enough for him to come? Because uh, a time like this uh, is very important that he is around in case... Uh, 
No, tell me. In case what? Please don't complete that statement. Nothing will happen to my husband. I better not. I still pray nothing happens to him. Um, the important thing is this. Are you sure that whatever you told him is enough for him to come? Mm -hmm. Yes. I know my son. And I trust him. Once he has promised he's coming home, sure he's coming home. Well, that's good news. Then in that case, I'll go let the other cabinet members know that the prince will be coming home. He will need such welcome. I will leave immediately to inform them. Thank you so much. I'll take my leave. Okay, let me go sit by my husband. I'll see you. Okay. Bye. Yes, I told you. Yeah, the meeting is for five o'clock. Yes, all the cabinet members are supposed to be in attendance. Uh, how can we go to the palace and we cannot see the king and they say the king is not well and we can't see him? No. We have to meet at five to de deliberate on it. Uh, good evening, uh, Father. Oh, how are you? I'm very sit down. Uh, so, I hope you heard me. All right. All right. So, just let everybody know about that, okay? Thank you. Son? Yes, Father. You're welcome. Thank you. I can see you enjoy yourself. <sighs> what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> oh, um, I just returned from the, the palace a while ago. Okay. I hope everything is fine. Hmm. Um, not everyone is fine. The king was rushed to the hospital earlier today. What? The king? I mean, what happened to the king? The king is in a critical condition. And as we speak, he's in coma. In coma? Yes. I mean, the king is a good man. He doesn't deserve any of this. He's a good king. I mean, why is this happening now? The, the queen has um, told uh, the prince about it and um, I think she has asked him to come home. Wow, really? Hmm. And uh, I think she also told me uh, that he will be coming tomorrow. That reminds me. Uh, yes, please, you have to you know, go with the driver to, to, to bring him from the airport, please. Okay? Well, I'm happy the prince is returning, you know, after so many years abroad. I'm really excited to see him. Because I know you'll be happy about it. <laughs> yes, I am happy, but mm. still very sad at the same time. I mean, he's coming back to his father in a very critical condition. I wish, I, I wish he was coming back on a good note, you know, a good place. It, it would have been better. It's a pity. But that's life. Life must go on. Yeah, but I mean, we have to be optimistic. I mean, the king could get better, yeah? That's definitely, definitely. Yes, I, I believe we'll be all right. So let's just chill. It's all right. I have some more calls to make concerning the meeting at the palace at five.
I am. Oh <laughs> my goodness. What's up, darling? Thank you, Mom. The friends. The friends. The friends, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Father, Father, it's me, your son. Father can't even talk to me. The condition is really critical. But why is he here? Why has he not been taken to the hospital? No Highness. According to tradition, the king is not supposed to sleep in the hospital. What kind of stupid tradition? You mean he's going to remain like this? Well, um... He was rushed to the hospital yesterday when he collapsed. And the doctor ran some tests on him and we're waiting for the test results right now. Has the doctor been here today? Yes, he just slept when he came in. You're going to be alive for all of us. I will do everything within my power to make sure you get well soon. Thank you, my son. Honestly, I'm happy. I'm happy too, Father. But I'm still breathing. But my being alive but not joining my ancestors. Just get well soon. Okay? Okay, my son. <sighs> I can't believe this. It's the bio.
Yes. You're here. Yes, I was actually waiting for you to come out from your father's room. It's like you two were having a heartwarming discussion. Oh, yes, um, but not really. I've been there for a while. Yeah. Not really happy. Really? Yes, Mom. You're already dressed into something different. It's like you're going somewhere. Oh, yes, I'm going out with my friend. I'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, I had wanted us to have a little talk. Okay, Mom, but can't it wait till I come back? Okay, no problem. I'll wait for you to come back. Just be careful. All right, Mom. I won't be you. long. <laughs> See you too. See you. Bye. I think you should be at the back. Back, okay, just help me. Help me. Yeah. You have to consider me. Yeah? Consider what I'm telling you. Don't put me into trouble. Don't put me into trouble with this in your saying. See, forget that thing. I am the chief executive driver in this palace. Especially, the king assigned me to the prince. And you know, very soon, the king will die. And the prince will take over. And once the prince take over as the new king, <laughs> I will sack you. So you better consider it now or else I will sack you. Don't put me into trouble with your sweet mouth. I wish I had the prince. Yes, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Um, the prince needs you. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, get a car ready. You're taking us to somewhere now, okay? Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I said you should have this. So we're going to this way. Son? Hmm? Hope you're enjoying the meal. I made it for you, special. <laughs> It's delicious. <coughs> sorry, sorry. No, I'm sorry. Thank you. So, you mean for 10 years now, so, you have not forgotten the taste of your mother's food. My love, without your respect, are you jealous? So my son shouldn't serve his mother's meal again? Come on! No, mom, that, that's not what that meant. It's only, you know, trying to say I <laughs> I, I missed your meal for, for 10 years. I eat your food, sorry. <coughs> so, I think uh, you have enjoyed your mommy's food enough. When are you going to start enjoying your wife's food? Exactly my point. I am getting old by the day. In fact, I'm almost tired of cooking for you. It's a high time you started enjoying your own wife's cooking. When are you getting married? Well, very soon. No, like, I mean very, very soon. As a matter of fact, I returned to this country with my woman. <laughs> what? You came back to this country with a woman? Yes, mom. How? Why? Son, I hope she's a good girl. Yeah, of course, dad. She is. I don't meet her. Definitely. 
So how are you? I'm okay. How are you doing? Nothing really. I'm just um I'm just on the bed, you know. I miss you. Oh, come in. But I'll I'll call you back in a minute, okay? Oh my mom. Oh, mom. How are you? I'm okay. You could have sent for me, then I'll come downstairs to see you. No, there's no need for that. I I want to talk to you in private. Okay. All right, mom. That's fine. Let me sit for us so that we can talk well. Even, uh, even when we were still abroad, I told you there was this girl I was grooming for you. Yet you came back with a girl. Mom, please don't. I'm so absurd. God. Mom, not again. When you told me that on the phone, what did I tell you? I told you no. You can't, you can't obviously go ahead with, with, with the plan when I said no. My son, I am your mother. And you in turn is my only child. I want the best for you. This girl we are talking about is a good girl from a responsible background. She's also a graduate from a reputable university. Mom, same thing goes to this girl I came back with. You don't know her. You can't be doing this, for crying out loud. You can't be doing this. This is 21st century, mom. Nobody selects a wife or someone. You do it yourself. And in my own case, I have found someone my heart beats for. Look, I, I appreciate the fact that you want the best for me. Okay? You love me. You want the best for me. But I also know what's best for me. Please. Okay? No problem. Let me go back to my room. I'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. It's fine, Mom. But I promise you're going to like her when we meet her. Okay? So you don't have to be worried. Good night, Mom. Chiamaka. Um, there is something I want us to talk about. Okay. It's about the prince. The prince? What about him? You know, for some time now, I've been watching you intently with him. The relationship and everything. I want to find out from you whether you love him from the deepest part of your heart, as in to spend the rest of your life with him. Yes, mom. He's the best man I've met in a long while. Good to hear that. But I want to know whether he feels something, as in that love you feel for him. Is it reciprocated? He does. Okay. I'm happy to hear that. Um, it's fine. Let me go and prepare something for us to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, mom. Thank you. It's okay.
I welcome my daughter once again. You're welcome, my daughter. So, Dad, Chiamaka is from the neighboring village. That's Omonebe. My pleasure, darling. You're so pretty You're and welcome. elegant. You can say that again, my love. <laughs> <laughs> She's the daughter of late Mazi Yebichi. That's the retired civil servant. <coughs> 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 Sorry. Thank you. You want water? Sorry. My son, are you referring to Onye Buchi, the retired uh, civil servant? Oh, yes. Exactly, Your Majesty. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> I heard about his death, and that was a painful one. Your father was a good man. <laughs> That's in the past now. <laughs> Is your mother's name Uju? Yes. Uh, do you know my mother? <sighs> yes, I know her. In fact, we were once best friends. Okay, really? Wow. What is my word? <laughs> exactly. Like your boon companion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Wow. Mm. Mm. Uh, can we quickly head to the dining to have lunch? For sure. Okay. <clears throat> mm. Let's go. So how's your mother? She's very fine, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Oh yes, mom, I forgot to tell you. Chamaka here was part of your scholarship scheme. As a matter of fact, she came out with first class. Oh, cool. That's so nice. You are one of them. I'm That's... so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. That's super impressive. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Majesty. You mm -hmm. made your parents and the community <coughs> proud by qualifying for the scholarship. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I wish your father was here to see this day. What his daughter has done to make him and the community proud. Well, let's go, John. I know he's going to follow her. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay. Your Majesty, are you okay? Your Highness. Yes, Doctor. What really happened? Doctor, I don't know. We were having lunch at the dining table. All of a sudden, he started coughing. We tried to give him water, but the cough continued persistently. And when this cough couldn't stop, we had to bring him to his room. Oh, so what, what do you think could be the problem? Oh, Your Highness. Just calm down, okay? Let me examine His Majesty. Let me examine him first. Okay. Just please. All right, Doctor. Don't you think we should take him to the hospital where you have all the equipment and... Don't you think so? Your Highness, that's what's been necessary. Let me examine him. Okay, Doctor. Okay. Right. Just think all oh, this transition stuff is going to be taken to the hospital. Don't worry about it. I'll be downstairs, okay? I'll see you later. So I'm going to take you on my I will. Um...
Chairman, I agree, sir. You are welcome, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Um, <laughs> how is the king's health? Mm, go in and see for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Your Majesty, Your Highness, as we all know, the king is in a critical health condition that needs immediate attention. Doctor, that is why we have you. Think on what to do. Oh, we don't even know what to do. We are lay people here. I have to rush back to the hospital. So tell me, how is the King Ferry now? It's getting better. What exactly did the doctor say is the problem? He didn't say anything. He just said to run a few tests and he will let us know when he's done. Why is she not back yet? She didn't tell me that she was going to pass a night in the palace. So what could be keeping her? God, please protect my daughter for me. The worst is that I have been calling her phone, but she hasn't picked nor returned my calls. Well, I will have to wait for her. I know she will definitely return. I know my daughter too well. If she knew she was going to stay the night in the palace, she would have informed me. Since she didn't tell me, it means she will come back for sure. Thank God you are back. Okay? Thank mm. God. Sit down, sit down. I have a gist for you. What happened? What kept you so long? You forgot that we have an appointment. Eh? And the people are waiting for us. We were having this sumptuous meal. Mm. All of a sudden, the king started coughing. And the next thing he started coughing blood. I thought the king had recuperated a long time ago. So why this sudden sickness? <sighs> the doctor said he has liver problem. Chimo. And he has 60% chance of surviving it. Liver problem? 60% chances of survival. Ah, okay. That one is not bad. I think it's good. It's better. 60%, 60 versus 40. Better. Hmm? He has a better chance of living, of survival. Ah, the king. Um, but is that the reason you are worried? I am so worried. No, you don't have to disturb yourself. You don't have to worry. Nothing will happen to your father-in-law. Hmm? He will make it. He will survive by the special grace of God. Hmm? Don't bother yourself. If you say so, Mom, is there any food in the house? I I like I need to eat something. Yes, I could. Okay. Um... I invited you here to discuss about your fiancé, Chiamaka. Okay, Mom. I hope there's no problem. That is a very big problem. You cannot marry that girl. And that is final. Mom, you're, you're, you're joking now, right? Does it look to you as if I'm joking? 
Are you being serious here? Yeah, come on, Mom. I thought we've passed this stage. Can you tell me the reason you don't want me to settle down with her? When the time comes, I will give you a thousand and one reasons. But one thing I know is I will not allow you to marry that girl. Never! You're not my girl. Well, it's, it's not in your position to make that decision for me. After marrying Mecca, a girl has spent years grooming for you to be the next queen of Obia I didn't beg you to groom anybody for me. Okay? I cannot settle down with who I have no, no atom of love for. How can you be advising me to do that? Afam, marry Mecca. When you meet this girl, you will agree with me. She is a beauty to behold. A down-to-earth character. Intelligent. In fact, Mecca is a total package. Mom, now. please say yes. no. Say no, Father. I am not interested in Mecca or nobody. Okay? Chiamaka is the woman I want to marry. And that's fine now. Are you working out a Of course, it's obvious you have nothing else to say. Aha. My friend. Ah, Esther, uh, how are you? I'm fine, darling. Uh -uh. I'm okay. <laughs> are you going to look so gorgeous? Mm. This girl. Well, <laughs> I'm going to the palace. I'm going to see my own prince. Uh -uh. Is he back? Are you serious? You, Esther, you of all people. Have you relocated from this village or something? Really? is back now yes like for real you don't know my friend Neka you know me now you know I hardly go out except if I'm coming to visit you and for some time now I've not visited you my friend because of mama's illness oh I'm so sorry my love I'm so sorry it's please okay. forgive me it's okay. how is she doing now my dear she's getting better Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, I promise I'm going to make out time to come see your mother, my friend, okay? My friend. <laughs> nee, my friend. Nee, baby. Can you stop? Nee, my you guest. have started. Uh -uh. You have started. You got a package front. Package back. You Only know. You, you know. You to just go sweet. <laughs> <laughs> my friend. My love, don't worry. I'll see you soon. So, where are you going to? I'm going to the market to get some things for Mama. I need to prepare food for her. Okay. Mm. No problem. Don't worry, I promise I'll come and see you soon. Okay? Take care of yourself. I I will. Yeah, together, I know. <laughs> I'm a good girl Make now. my friend. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, once again, you're welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. I <laughs> know why you're here. Yes, I'm here to see you as usual. I don't believe you. You're saying something else. Your eyes are saying something else. I know you're here to say the presence. Well, you're not far from the truth. I'm here to see my prince that just returned. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. I like the sound of your voice. Oh, well, let me send for the prince to come see you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank you, my queen. You have a good sense of fashion. Thank you. Wearing too much. <laughs> Please don't make me shy. <laughs> I don't. But I want you to be comfortable. Thank you. There it is. Good afternoon, my friends. Good afternoon. <laughs> so? Yeah? Six. Don't 
Sit down. Okay. Mom, who's this pretty damsel? She's the reason I sent for you. She's the girl I've been talking to you about. Her name is Neka, the girl I want you to marry. She's oh. beautiful, right? Yeah, yeah, she, she is. Nice to meet you, Neka. Same here, my prince. <laughs> All right, so mom, can we um, talk about this later? I've got an important place to be right now. Okay. Okay, so later. later. All right, I'll yeah, see you. Yeah. Make yourself comfortable, mom. Bye. I love you, darling. Love you. You take care. What? He, he, he likes me. Neka, you worry too much. Of course, he doesn't have any other reason not to like you. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll talk about it. Okay? Okay. Thank you, my friend. I'm just happy you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so happy. Mm -hmm. but, my queen. Yes? You never told me that my face is this cute. <laughs> Thank God you now know that he's cute. And that is the reason you shouldn't let go of him. You're a pretty girl, he's a handsome young man. Both of you are perfect match. <laughs> Don't worry, Your Majesty. I promise I am going to do anything to make him my husband. That's the spirit. <laughs> so let me quickly get you something to eat. Let me go to the kitchen and instruct them. You sit in my chamber and wait for me, okay? Thank you, Your Majesty. What a wonderful God. He has the marvelous name. Angela. Yes. I just the queen asked me to tell you that she prefers a special name for our guest. She has a guest? Yes. Okay. Just tell her it will be done in a GB, okay? Okay. Right. Please hurry up for what I asked you to do. It's important, please. Okay. He has the marvelous name for me. Ah, thank you. I like the kind of salad. Okay. Your Majesty, thank you so much for this wonderful meal. This is delicious. You're welcome. You enjoyed it? Very well, Your Majesty. <laughs> I gave them the accurate specification to do it for you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to clear the table. No, sit, sit, sit. Sit. That is the work of the maid. They are paid to do it. If you keep doing it, that means they're taking them off their jobs and removing food from their mouths. Well, Your Majesty, this is nothing. I, I, can actually, I can actually do this. Let me do it, please. You see? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Have you seen it? You are not just pretty. Be homely. With proper home training. You are a wife material. Every young man should aspire to have. Not some with a buttered girl coming here to show off, dignified, all this show. I need you in this palace to occupy the position of the Lord when the right time comes. Not some uncultured, spoiled American brat. No! It is you I want for my son. Your Majesty, uh, is there any problem? Is there something you're not telling me? No, not something you should worry about. I will handle it. Okay? Okay, if you say so. Um, what of the king? How is his health? <sighs> my husband is still alive. Thank God. He didn't do a week, but he's still alive. He's a fighter. He will fight yet again to vanquish the evils. Amen. He'll be fine. I'm praying for him too. I know. <laughs> I know. I, I want you to come again so that you can have 
ample time for the birds. Okay, I'll be here again to see my friends. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Let me call them to take the plates. Okay. I hope you don't mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, my friend, you haven't changed one bit. You are looking utterly beautiful. Ah, ah, me, like this. Stop whining. No, I am not whining. I am telling you the gospel truth. You are beautiful. So if you call me beautiful, what are you going to call yourself? Please, whatever you want to say, just understand and accept the fact that you are my friend and I know you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but this America is looking good on your skin. Oh. Really? Yes, you are glowing. Ah. Eh? Mm. Which girl in this village has this kind of skin? Oh, please, stop. <laughs> I've missed you. I missed you too. But stop flashing me. Anyway, what? How is America? Well, America is fine. It's beautiful. It's somewhere that everyone should be, you know. It's a very amazing place. God, when will I enter America too? Eh, look at me. You will. It's somewhere that anybody can go to. Eh. Yes. Amen. No. Amen. <laughs> what? My friend, I heard that you came back together with the prince. Is it true? Yes, I came back with the prince. He's my fiancé and we are getting married soon. <laughs> I am happy for you. I know you are very blessed. You are lucky in this life, oh. Eh? First you got a scholarship to study abroad. Now you are engaged to be married to the prince of this kingdom. Hey! You are lucky. You can say that again. I am indeed blessed. Stop. <laughs> Please. Tell me something. How is the prince? How is he like? He's fun. He's caring. He's an amazing man. <laughs> My friend. Now, enough of the prince. I want to take you out. I am oh. taking you out to all your favorite joints hey. in town. So you eat. Should I send him in them? I know you like Kobe. Um, I want college. everything. Um, I have missed so meat, much. Palm oil, everything. Right? <laughs> everything. Hey. So my friend, where exactly are you taking me to? Ah, really? Are you scared? No. Oh. Maybe you think I'm going to take you to a jungle and maybe cut up your head, right? <laughs> I know you well. cannot do anything to me. Uh -huh. You're my friend now. Oh, you know. Okay, just calm down. Relax. I will be taking you to somewhere that you're going to like. But first of all, we're going to be using a tricep to the base. Ah, no need now. We'll just trek. Trek? You don't yes. expect me to trek under the scorching sun on my skin. Hello, I'm not used to that bullshit. <laughs> I know you're Ibo now, eh? Soon to be the princess of this kingdom. Yes, so I cannot wait for you to become queen so that I will enter that palace every day. Will you calm down, please? <laughs> well, you know, the prince loves me so much. He loves me and I love him too. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This love is making me feel Are you somehow. having those bumps already? <laughs> Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You really surprised me. I didn't even know we were going to the boutique. Oh. Hey! I wanted to surprise you. Hey! You see now, I am going to Gatch. Oh! The latest happening girl in town. <laughs> American style. Hey! Let's hey. go, Jerry. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Hey! Hey! Thank you, Ochi. Oh, even we. Hey! Hot, hot. <laughs> My fellow chief in council, we have been here before to see our king, but we could not because we were told that the king had some head issues. And it looks like uh, Lolo is trying to hide from us this, the, the head status of our king. And so today we are here. We're here because we want someone to tell us the true position of the head status of our king. 
I don't know if I have spoken your mind. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You have spoken our minds. We cannot be left to black all this. Sad. As members of the royal cabinet, you are supposed to know the king's health status. Definitely. Well, if that is the case, they have to let us know. They cannot hide it from us. I mean, we are all members of the royal cabinet. Yes. And as tradition demands, we are supposed to be aware of the health status of our king from time to time. In fact, not only are we to be notified about his health status, but to be allowed to see him with our two naked eyes. Yes. It is in the constitution. So, that means we must see him. Yes. So in that case, we must get someone to take us to him if he is in this palace. And if he's not here and he's in the hospital, I think we have to march to the hospital to see our dear king. Wow. Wow. And this time, we have to insist. Yes. Exactly. And our insistence will leave them with no choice than to allow us to see our king. Why is the Lord of the King so much better? I think I should get one of the guards to call her. Yes, yeah, please do. Please do. Yes. We need to do something about it. You need to do it. No. No, no, we need to do it. It's our right. God! Yes. Amen. Good day, Chief. Good day, how are you? Fine, thank you. Now, you want to the Queen's chamber. Tell her the real cabinet awaits her. Right away, Chief. Go there now. Okay, Chief. What is it? Do you want to break the door? Go and inform the Queen that I have a message to deliver to her. Quickly. Amadi, give me the message and let me go give it to her. Come, it's like something has gone wrong with your head. Do you think I came here to joke with you? I feel go and tell the queen that I am here to see her. It's a matter of urgency. Whatever. Is there anyone in the palace? Oh, yes, the owner who is inside with some palace chiefs, my prince. And my mom? She should be in her chambers. Okay, just wait for me. All right, I'll show my Your Highness, you're welcome. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, Your Highness. Please, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Eh? It's all right. Let me have a seat. We have something very important to discuss with you and uh, uh, Lola. Oh.
Greetings, my chiefs. Your Majesty. You're welcome. Thank you, Your you. Majesty. Thank you. Um, we, the cabinet members of this kingdom, have come to know the true state of the head of our king. Is he all right? Because the last time we came here, we were not allowed to see him because they said he wasn't feeling good enough to see us. Today again, we are here to inquire of the head status of our king. Yes, your majesty and your highness. What the Onowo is saying is that it is traditionally our obligation as the members of the royal cabinet to always be concerned about the well-being of the royal family, most especially the kings. We have been kept in the dark for days without seeing or knowing the status, the health status of our king. So we are here to ascertain the true status of our king's health. But, and not only that, we need to see the king with our own eyes. We need to know if our king is still alive. Jivo Kongo, what are you insinuating? Are you in any way saying the king is dead? And we, the real family, are trying to hide it from you people? Is that what you're sitting there saying? Uh, no, Your Majesty. So what are you saying? I am not insinuating anything. Um, but uh, constitutionally, as members of the royal cabinet, we are supposed to see our king dead or alive. Um, my, my elders, please, there is no cause for alarm, okay? Let's all take a chew pill and try not to be up in the heel. The king is, of course, alive. We're not praying for any negative thing to happen to our beloved king, okay? So he's much alive. You see, what happened the last time you came was that the king was not really feeling so well, like he was really intense, and the doctor advised that he shouldn't be disturbed. Even if it was hard for us to see him easily, okay? So that was what happened. The doctor said, no visitors, no nothing. He should have enough rest. That was it. Please, we are really sorry. If you're seeing it from the point that we're trying to hide anything, we weren't really hiding anything. Please, we are sorry. Uh, Your Highness, you have really spoken wisely. Thank you. You are the true son of a lion, the great king of this kingdom. Thank you. Um, but if we may further ask, how is he as we speak? Oh, yes. Um, he's much more better compared to the last time. So. I can take you to his chambers to, to see him. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go see him. Yeah. Now this is more like it. That is really good news. <laughs> of course. All right. Okay. Let's go. Hey. 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 Yes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yes, Your Majesty. We are here to comfort you. Your Majesty, you are coming in with to comfort you. Thank you, my chiefs. Chief Okole. Chief Okongo. Good word. You are even here with them to come and see me. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. May you live long, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. May our ancestors prolong the rest. He says, Thank you, my chiefs, for coming to see me. 
Um, Your Majesty, don't just worry yourself. Nothing will happen to you. You still have work to do. The kingdom needs you. And don't forget you are a lion. You have fought and won so many battles. And in this, you will vanquish. Thank you, Lord. I can see myself being drawn nearer to my ancestors. The more I see that my time to join them is near. I know that is why I want to entrust my son. Yes. The heir to the throne. So that you will teach him the ways of the gods and our tradition. Yes. Uh, Your Majesty, nothing will happen to you. You will bounce back. Yes, you will bounce back. Remember, you're the lion. Oh, Father, you don't have to say that. Please stop saying that, please. I saw the ways of our gods are mysterious. My son, just prepare yourself for the worst. Yes. Most importantly, prepare yourself for the tax. I, I love you because the leadership of this. I, I think. I think. I think. Should um, leave him to have some rest. Oh yes, please. Thank yes, you for let's, coming. Let's go. Just yeah. Let's go. Your greetings to yourself because there's nothing good about that greeting with your presence around here. Your Majesty, have I done something wrong? Very stupid to ask that. If you don't respect yourself now, ask the guard to throw you out of this palace. Are you mad? Am I your mate? Uh, it's me, Chiamaka. I, I don't know. Maybe you're a fool. I don't care what you are called, whether Chiamaka or Choma. Because you're called Chabaka, should I be jumping up or probably kill myself or lie down for you to, to step on me? Yay with your two wobbly legs. Gold digger. Just like your family. Get out! Get! Close the gates after her. Idiot. Your Chabaka. Maybe I should kill myself because you're Chabaka. Rubbish. Mom? Yes? I could swear I, I heard you talking to someone. And you want to know? Of course. I want, want to know. Your voice was really high. It was Chiamaka. You mean Chiamaka came here? No. I didn't mean she came here. I mean she flew into here. So what what did you tell her? I asked her to leave. I've told you. Delete that girl from your memory. I married the girl I have prepared and groomed for you. The earlier you delete her, the better for you and I. That girl is not your class. Mom, don't make me lose it. I'll be I, very honest with you. And if you do, what will you do to me? Will you hit me? No, will you beat me? Lose it! Mom. You are not going not to do that again. You know where are you going? You tell her to like Come that. back here! Don't worry. I know what to do.
Yosha Maka, my daughter. Since you came back from the palace, I've been observing you. You've been so moody. You've not taken anything. You've refused to eat anything. Few moments back, I saw you crying. What is the problem? Did you quarrel with the prince? Mama. I have never been embarrassed the way I was today. Who embarrassed you? And where? The Queen, Her Majesty. She kicked me out of the palace. Why? Did I she didn't. tell you why she did that? I don't know, Mama. I tried asking her and she told me never to ask her such stupid question again. <laughs> you know the worst part of it? She humiliated me in front of the guards and the ladies. Hey! What an embarrassment. Um, the prince was here there when it happened and what did he say or do? He wasn't found. It's okay, my daughter. It will be fine. I believe the prince loves you and he must come for you. Mama, okay? I don't want anything to happen between the prince and I. I love him so much. I know the prince loves you as well. You have nothing to worry yourself about. Okay? No? Huh? It's okay. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. Please. I don't know why my mom treated you like that. Please, I'm deeply sorry. Please. The embarrassment was too much. I don't know what I did for the sudden hatred. That's exactly what I'll try to find out. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want anything to happen to us. If anything happens to our relationship, I am going to kill myself. No, don't say that. Nothing is going to happen to us. Nothing is going to happen to our relationship. Okay? It's okay. Sorry, okay? Sorry. Okay. Welcome, my friend. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. Um, let's go inside so I can offer you a cola. Oh, that, that would be nice, but um, I want us to go out, like somewhere cozy, to chill out. What do you think? Oh, really? Yeah. See how happy they are. They are just perfect together. But what could have happened to warrant such actions from the Queen? Could it be as a result of what transpired between us many years ago? But that was many years now. And besides, it was not my fault. It was entirely her fault. God, don't let anything happen to my daughter's relationship with Prince Ahame fully. Why would she want to punish my innocent daughter for a sin she never committed? That is unfair. And I can't allow that to happen. I think I need to confront the queen. Mm -hmm. 
Who are you here to see? Um, I came to see Her Majesty. Who are you? My name is Suju. Chiamaka's mother. The one that came back from abroad with uh, Prince Sahame Fulu. Oh, you are the mother of that beautiful young girl. Yes. Okay. You are welcome, ma. Um, is Her Majesty inside? Yes, Her Majesty is inside. Let me send someone to call her. Amade! Yes. This woman here, she's here to see Her Majesty. Can I take her in, please? I hope there's no problem, madam. No, there is no problem. It's all right. You can come with me. She's inside. I believe Her Majesty is inside. Of course. Okay, kindly inform her that a woman is at the gate to see her. I will do just that. Okay. Good day, Your Majesty. Adobe, how are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Is there any problem? No, Your Majesty. There is a woman here to see you, Your Majesty. Which woman? Do you know her? No, Your Majesty. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Good afternoon, who are you? Your Majesty, don't tell me you are serious that you didn't recognize me. You don't know me, Uju, your childhood friend. Oh, excuse me, please. If you are truly Ujumwa, then you must be a very big fool. The fat one. Your Majesty, you just called me a fool. Why? Do you rather prefer I call you a coward? A fool is more dignified. If you were not a fool, you wouldn't have carried your two left legs into my palace. You want to carry? Are you mad? It's okay. You can call me anything you want. The reason I'm here is to tell you to allow our children to be. Don't let them be punished because of our past sins. What sin are you talking about? I ask you. I didn't commit anything that I can remember. But you committed a terrible sin against your best friend. Your Majesty, with all due respect, I did not commit any sin against you. It was a misunderstanding. Neither did I betray you. Misunderstanding, you said. Misunderstand it. You betrayed our friendship. And that I will not forgive you until I take my last breath. As for your daughter, wanting to marry my son, never. That will never happen. I will I when you do go no go. Tell her never to set her feet into my palace ever again. And as for you, expect a cold revenge. 
I must come with it. And it's better served. Hot, steaming, hot. Your Majesty, do you mean to tell me that you want to compromise your son's happiness for a hatred born out of misunderstanding? Is that what you're telling me? Do I look as if I care? Get out. You have overstayed your welcome. Leave my presence now. Else, I will tell the guards to disgracefully throw you out of this palace. Back to the dungeon where you belong. It's okay, Your Majesty. It has not gotten to that. It's okay. I will go. But before I leave, I want to remind you of this. That nothing will compromise love. Not it. Not even you. Not I. Did you just say love? If there's anyone that should talk about love, it shouldn't be you. Shouldn't it? Let me be the judge of that. Get lost. Thank you, Your Majesty. We're talking about hate, we're talking about love. Do you know love? Silly. Has it been long since you came back? Yes, Mama. I came back a long time ago. I've been looking for you. Ah, oh. Um, how was your meeting with the prince? It was fine. It was fun. We had so much fun. That's nice. That's nice. Mama, you're not alright. Uh, are you okay? Is I'm anything okay. the matter? I'm okay. I'm fine. Mama, you're not fine. You're not alright. You're the best mom in the whole world. And I wouldn't want to be finding out that you're being perturbed or disturbed. Please. Um, thank you for that. Hmm? Thank you for that, my daughter. Have you eaten? No, I was waiting for you to come back. Oh, in that case, let me quickly go to the kitchen and prepare something for us to eat. Prepare what, Mama? I already made food. Really? Yes. You made it? Mm. <laughs> this food is very delicious. Thank you, Mom. Honestly, I thought by now you would forget everything about home cooking. Why? When I learned it from the best mom in the whole world. <laughs> you know that you stayed a long time in America. Mom, just because I stayed in the US doesn't mean I have to forget how to cook. Mm. You know, over there we have a Nigerian market where they sell our uh, foodstuffs. Really? Just that it's quite expensive. And I do cook over there in the States. Mm. That's nice. Good to know. <laughs> hmm. I'm quite impressed. Mm. Mm. I think you should restrain your movement from the palace. Why would you say that? 
considering the way the queen has been treating you lately, it's better you keep up for the meantime. Mama, I won't do that. Give me a reason why I should do that. Why do I have to stay away from the man that I love? I love the prince. I, I need to understand it. What's been going on? I mean, what the hell is going on with everybody? Why is everyone acting strange and nobody wants to tell me what I need to know? Why? Um, my daughter, I don't want you to feel that way. No one is saying you and the prince will no longer be lovers. No, we are not saying that. It's just that I want you to keep up. For the meantime, let me sort things out. You can then continue. Hmm? Mama, you better do that first. Because I do not want to lose my man. Oh. You are not going to lose the prince. Don't you trust your mother again? Everything will be fine. Just small time. Eat your food. I've lost appetite. I'm fine. I said everything will be sorted out. Careful, careful. Ah, uh -uh. go, 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 go. Where are you coming from since morning? It's none of your business. Watch your tongue. Adam, watch your tongue. I am not your maid. The last time I checked, I am still your mother and the queen of this great kingdom. So don't talk to me in that and manner. The last time I checked, I am still your son, the prince of this great kingdom. So you should accord me some respect. I know it's Jamaica. You're talking to me ranting because of Jamaica. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I will not regret my action. I am not remorseful in any way. Neither will I stop embarrassing that fool. Tell her to desist from coming to this palace. <laughs> Mom, I'm saying this again to you. Don't make me lose it. You won't like me. Do not do what you're going to regret tomorrow. I don't understand. Is it your life? It is my life. It is my life. What? The king. The king. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with the king? Why are you stuttering like that? The king. The king. What is wrong with the king? I can. I can wait for me. What's wrong with him? Your Majesty. Yes, Doctor. Your Highness. Please. You have to brace up yourselves. What does that mean, brace up ourselves? What are you talking about? Can, can you speak up? What, 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 what do you mean? His Majesty has joined his ancestor. Please, I'm sorry. Your Highness, How? His Majesty. No, that, that, that cannot be possible. I, I just spoke, I just spoke with him not quite long. Can you examine him again? Let's see what we're talking about. Uh, Your Highness, I, 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 I've, I've tried it. Yeah. I'm sorry. My Lord, I don't I'm sorry.
a farm. Your father is dead. And there is nothing we can do now. It's only the gods that have answers to the reason he left us now. <sighs> this is someone I spoke with this morning. There was no sign that he was going to leave us. There was no sign. Now it's no more. Is, is this how people die? Is this, is this how people die? Your father's death was foreshadowed. I've always known him to be a fighter. But this time he couldn't defeat the sickness that killed him. We all have to be strong. It's time for us to be strong. Your father lived an accomplished life. His reign was peaceful and prosperous. The mantle of leadership has just been handed over to you. To be the father of all. All you need now is send words to Mu and the chiefs. Tell them we want to see them now. This is so painful. <laughs> so going to say it again. Come here. Don't say it again. It's okay. <laughs> Give me your hand. <laughs> to the Onowu's place and all the cabinet chiefs tell them they are needed at the palace right away as your prince pleases Of course. So maybe it's coincidence. Uh -uh. <laughs> Did you say coincidence? Yes. I think it may be coincidence and it may not. So what is it? <laughs> I call it faith. Means we are destined for each other as friends. Wash mm. our back, my friend. You don't understand. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. No problem. So, how is your mother? How is she doing? Don't even start. Okay. Why are you asking me of mama again? You that promised to pay me a visit the last time I met with you on the road. Now you're here asking me again, how is mama? Please, please. Forgive me. Forgive me, my dear friend. My esterification. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Good. I'm so sorry. I know, yes. I didn't come. I didn't come to your house, I know, but I'm so, so sorry. Please, can you forgive me? Okay, fine. Let's make it a deal. I am going to come to your house in two days' time. Another that? promise again. Uh, Nick, another promise. This one is a promise, I know. In two days' time. In two days, I'll it's be. It's on Thursday, remember? Yes, I know. Two days is on Thursday. On Thursday. I'll come on Thursday to see Mama. I believe you, my friend. How about that? I believe you <laughs> because we are friends, so we need to believe and trust each other. Where are you going to looking excited like this? this? Mm, okay. Guess. Yeah. Guess. You look so sharp. Guess. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you will kill them. Guess. 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 Okay, you're going to the palace. You have to go and see your bobo. 
Please. Oh, please, please, point of correction, not my bobo, but I am going to see my own prince. My handsome prince. Hey. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> my friend. Yes, darling. What is it? Your friend. Let me advise you. Don't put your mind on the prince. Please. Esther, what's the meaning of that? What do you mean by that? So you've not heard. Heard what? Heard what? Why are you looking around? Heard what? The prince came in from America with a very beautiful girl. <laughs> So you're not aware of that. Esther, what's the meaning of that? Please, I don't like this. I don't like it. Don't come with this, your gossip. I don't like it. What's the meaning of that? So you think I'm lying to you as my friend. Thank God you're going to the palace. When you go, you confirm things to yourself. Maybe when we see you on Thursday, you will tell me with your head or with your mouth. Good day, everyone. As cabinet members of this great kingdom, we all know why we're here. It is no longer news that our great king, of course, is one of the Biago kingdom. Join his ancestors yesterday. Mm. Of course, it's you are the liar. Mm. May the spirit of our forefathers accompany you to the great beyond. He said. And so we are here to discuss the better rights of this great man. And uh, according to the tradition, he's made to be laid to rest on the fourth market day from the day he took his last breath. Unu, you are very correct. Um, so that means we have four days left. Well, Unu, oh I must... Um... Thank you for coming, and of course, indeed, you're here. I am fully ready to give my father the fitting burial. So if you have the list, you can make it available for me so we can go ahead and, and plan. Because my father was a great man, of course, we all know that, and he must be given a befitting burial. Okosi Siwan of Obiago Kingdom must be given a befitting burial. Odogu, Odogu Mwa, you are indeed the true son of your father. Okosi Siwan of Obiago Kingdom. Your father deserves the best. The best? Say that the best, and that he must have. So you can make the list of your village. We have it here. Um, Chief Okonkwo, you will make available the list of items needed for the better rights. Yes, I will. I will do that this evening. I will bring you the list to the palace. Um, so, how did your meeting with the cabinet members go? Well, went well. So, I mean, when is burial? Well, according to the tradition, the king's burial takes place on the fourth market, counting from the day the king took his last breath. Oh, so that's uh, four market days from today. Exactly. So what are the items? Oh, items needed? I think it's here, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
What? All this for the burial, or does this include your coronation? <laughs> no. You know, the idea is to give my father a defeating talk of the town burial. <laughs> but I mean, this is too much. Look at this. That's not too much for my father. I mean, how much does all of this cost? You know, the, the idea is to give my father a befitting talk of the town burial. Oh, well, if you say so, but for me, I feel it's too much. Maybe. Come on, it's not too much. What needs to be done? How are you, my child? I'm okay. I'm fine, Your Majesty. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you so much. So, how have you been taking it? Bad. Husband is dead and gone forever. It's a huge blow, a huge loss. But I'm happy he accomplished his mission on this earth. As we speak now, he's with his ancestors. You're right, my queen. So, what of the prince, how is he taking it? <laughs> It's not easy on the prince, but he's managing. He's coping well. The prince is in a long meeting with the royal cabinet members. I believe it should be done by now. Right now, he should be in his chambers. You want to go in there and check on him? Uh, no, 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 my queen. Don't worry. I know he's been busy preparing for the burial. Don't worry, I'll come see him some other time. Oh my goodness. See why I cherish you so much. You're so much all and very understanding. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, my queen, for the compliments. Please be fine, okay? I'll try. I know. It's not easy to lose a husband. Be fine for me, okay? So, what can I do for you? Um, sorry, I just want to talk to you, get to know you better. Listen, I don't have time for all this. As you can see, I'm going to somewhere. Please, just let me be. Hey, hey, hey listen, I'm, I'm sorry, I won't waste your time. Five minutes, I promise, okay? Okay, but let your five minutes be five minutes. It's a promise, five minutes. So, what is it you want to talk to me about? Your beauty. You're, you're so beautiful. Your beauty is captivating. I don't mind. I, I want to know you. You're from this village? Yes. Okay. Oh, my name is Jerry. I'm, I'm, I'm from the next village. Whenever I'm, I'm around, I'm always frequent here. Today, I came to see a friend. He's from your village too. Please, can I know your name? My name is Neka. Wow. What a beautiful name. Just like you. You're beautiful. Can I go now? Uh, it's okay, but please, can I have your contact? Mr. Man, that is not necessary. It's not necessary. If you say so. Okay, you can come, let me drop you. I don't mind anything you do now. 
problem. Still not necessary. Please, I, I, I'm leaving. Neka. Neka. Mama. Ha. Nem. You're back from the palace and you did not come inside. Why is your face like this? Eh? What happened? What happened at the palace? Well, nothing happened. I just normal thing. I went there and the Queen was telling me about the king's funeral arrangements. That's all. So were you able to talk with the prince? No. I, I couldn't see him. He was equally busy arranging for the father's burial. I couldn't see him. Though the queen asked me to wait, but I, I decided to go. That means you're going back there tomorrow then? I'm not going back there. I've changed my mind. Oh, Gini, what happened? What is it? Eh? What is it? Talk to me. Go find me. Eh? Gay for? You know that my friend, Esther. Esther. Eh? Uh, mm -hmm. I saw Esther on, on my way to the palace and she, she told me something. And the thing is really bothering me. She told me something that is really bothering me. What is that? What is that? Honda, Esther told me that the prince came home with a woman. Are you serious? Yes. I, I tried to confront the queen, but because of the mood in the palace, I decided to, to keep cool. But I'm, I'll, still, I'll still ask her. That is okay. That's a good decision. Just wait. After the king's funeral rites, eh? you ask her majesty. You know, go. Mother, she wait. We are talking about the prince. The prince came home with another woman. I should wait. My own prince. You know what? Just relax. After the funeral rites, you ask the prince and hear his own side of the story. You know, go. Cheer up. Is that why you're angry? Oh, you know Esther too well. There's no way Esther can say something she's not sure of. I just hope it's not true. Relax. I can't take it, mother. I can't relax. take it too. Relax. Relax. I, I know Esther too well. Esther, Esther, you know she gossips a lot. And I know Esther too well. She's sure of this. It's okay. Till you hear the prince side of the story. Till then, don't judge. You know, go. Let's go. Is that why your face is like this? Yes, Cheer up. Are. Cheer up. Let's go inside. I prepared something for you. Check and put that bag. Let's go inside. Cheer up. Ah, ah. Nemo. Mm. Cheer up. Mm. <laughs> Are you sure? I am sure. Very, very sure. You know, go. Okay. I don't, ma'am. For some days now, I've noticed that you've not walked out from this compound. What is the problem? Mother, please, if you do not mind, I want to be left alone. What is the problem? Since you want to start hiding things from me. What exactly do you want me to tell the you? The truth, mom. Tell me the goddamn truth. Why are you hiding it? I am sure you know the reason why Her Majesty doesn't want me to marry the prince anymore. And yet you're keeping it away from me. What do I gain, my daughter, if I should hide something from you? Your happiness is of utmost priority. Why will I deliberately hide something from you? Eh? I can't. Believe me. Mother, I am sorry to bust your bubbles. At this point, I don't believe you. Like I said, I want to be left alone. Thank you. Chiamaka! Chiamaka! So, um, bro, what's up? I haven't been seeing uh, Chiamaka at the palace. Um, 
Is she all right? Um, she's fine, but something happened. My mom, my mom is... Mom? Um, I mean, what did your mom do? No, it happened... Um, it happened a few days before the king's demise. So she came to visit us as usual, you know. So when she came, she went to the queen's chambers to, you know, greet her. But you know, on getting there, my mom started insulting her, calling her all sorts of names that she doesn't want to see her in this palace again. She's not welcome here and so on and so forth. So out of shame, she ran out of the palace. <laughs> what? Are, are you kidding me right now? What does she do to warrant such treatment? I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I've asked my mom countless times on the reason she's, she's acting the way she's doing, but she wouldn't tell me. All she kept on saying is that when the time comes, I will know the reason for her actions. It's, wow. it's annoying. Hmm. So what are we going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. I'm confused. I just don't know. I'm not having rest of mind. That's not what I planned. That's not how I planned it. I mean, honestly, I am confused as well. I mean, I'm sure your mom should be very happy for you. Does she not want your happiness? That's what it looks like. Uh, That's what it looks like. I mean, we just have to find a way around this. We have to figure it out, you know. Maybe after your father's funeral. Yeah, exactly. After my father's funeral. I just want to let's focus on the funeral first. Then after that I will know the next plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Humans in the I'm a master, the most beautiful of our kingdom. Welcome, madam. Thank you very much, but please stop it. I don't like it. Stop calling me madam. My name is Neka. Call me Neka, okay? It is not possible. It is not possible. See how fresh and beautiful you look. And you ask me not to call you madam. You are madam Neka, forever and ever more. That's what I'm calling you. Okay, fine. You can call me whatever you like. It's okay. Is the queen in? Yes, she's in. And even the prince and his friend are in the garden. Now Oh, really? She's the there. prince is around? Yes. In that case, let me go say hello to him. <laughs> you can go. See you later, You're welcome. Okay? Hey. You can my spiritual wife, eh? I'm not going to my pastor. You see destiny, There is no competition in destiny. It's the opposite, opposite, no matter what matter men do. Because our wives, because our wives, oh, eh. Because our wives, because our wives, because our wives. Good afternoon, my friends. Hi, good day. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> um, my name is Neka. The girl Her Majesty introduced to you a few days back as her chambers. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. I'm oh. sorry, please. I have issues with remembering people. You know? <laughs> My prince is okay, but you're not the only one that has such challenge. A lot do, including me as well. Oh, really? <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you feel like that too? Oh, uh, yes, sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. You're welcome. Thank you, my prince. I'm going to go see Her Majesty right away. Oh, yeah. it's all right. It's fine. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Uh Bro, uh, who is she? Who? Oh, the girl? Yes. Oh, that girl is the girl my mom wants me to marry. She's oh. the reason all of this is happening. Oh, wow. Uh, wow, wow. 
Uh, is, is she from this village? Uh, I mean, uh, that is the very definition of the paragon of beauty. What are you going to do with her? I don't get it. I mean, uh, you have two girls already, so I mean, what will you do with two girls? So what will you be doing, or rather, what are you doing with the women in your life? Oh. I'm point of correction, there is no two girls anyway. The only woman I know, the only woman I love is Chamaka. Well, I understand. Your majesty to be. Hmm. It ain't even chairs, I mean. Chi, you know you're not a good person. So you have been carrying this kind of burden and you cannot even speak up. Open your mouth and talk. If not that I met your mother today and she told me everything that happened between you and uh, Her Majesty the Queen, you would not have told me, Abby. When did we start hiding things from each other? When? I'm sorry. I was overwhelmed. That I might lose my man. A man that I have dated for five good years. It's so heartbreaking. Never. You cannot lose him. It's not possible. Because I know that that prince loves you so much. Eh? And you love him too. Relax. My mind is even telling me that eh, Her Majesty is jealous that she's not as fine as you are. Hmm? <laughs> I know she'll come around. She'll come around because you are a nice person. I know. I think so. I know so. I know. Cheer up. Smile. Hmm? You know what? I'm going to take you to Madame Unko Kreko to buy you Unko. Nkwabio, smile now. You like Nkwabi, smile. Ah, uh ah, -uh, cheer up. Um, she just left with her friend now. Do you know where, where she possibly went to? I don't know. She didn't say. You know, my daughter has not been herself for some days now. She has been indoors. This is the first time she's leaving the house. Why? What else if not for the way Her Majesty, your mother, treated her? She really hurt my daughter. Oh, please, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry for the way my mother treated her. It's okay. There is no problem. Is in the past now. The only thing we have to do is find a way to resolve all this so that things will be normal. Okay, Mama, do you... Do you... have any reason my mother could be treating her like that? Can, can you tell? Um... I can't say, but my mind is telling me something. That it might be what transpired between Her Majesty, your mother, and me some years back. Oh, really? Do you mind to share it? My friends, I, I, I can't tell you anything. I will advise you go home to your mother, ask her. She's in the best position to explain no, everything. Mama, there's to nothing you. there. You can just give me a brief of what happened. I'm sorry, my friends. I can't. I'm sorry. Your mother is in the best position to do that. I want you to be very truthful to me. What conspired between you? And Chiamaka's mother. But why are you black from no, like that? Do not even do not don't even do that. Okay? Don't do that. Don't pretend. Tell me the truth. Something happened. Would you mind to tell me what happened? I don't know what you're talking about. Besides, I don't even know who Chiamaka's mother is. Why are you even lying to me? Of course you know what I'm talking about. I don't know nothing. What is something that I know, huh? 
What do I know? That I know that woman. I don't know her. In fact, I've never seen her before. You don't know her? Yes. You don't know her, boy. I don't know her. Okay. Where are you going? Alfred, come back here. Come and you ask me about that treacherous woman. I don't know her. Huh? My elders, I must thank you all for your support during my late father's funeral. Now we are faced with a new dispensation. So, oh no, over to you. Thank you, Your Highness. Um, we all know that um, according to our tradition, a new king is crowned after the rites of a late king is performed. And so since we are done with that, it is time to face the coronation of our crown prince. So I want us to discuss that. Uh, thank you, Your Highness. Uno, you have spoken well. Uh, as we all know, the coronation of our crown prince will be taking place in three weeks from today. We should all get fully involved and we should get ourselves prepared for this day. Thank you, Your Highness. Ono Wu and Chief Okoko, you both spoke well. Thank you very much. In that case, let me share the project papers to everyone. Okay, this is good. So I will make the uh, money available for the preparations. Okay? So, but, and I must say, I want my coronation to be talk of the town coronation. The best ever seen. Okay? Your Highness, you have no problem. We, the elders, we do everything within our power to make sure it becomes the talk of the town in the next years to come. Thank you. Yes. Yes, no highness. Just like uh, Noah has spoken, we will not put the best of our efforts to ensure a history coronation. Thank you very much. I really appreciate one more time. You know, so, having said that, I, I think we are done with this meeting. Uh, yes. Should anything come up, we'll let you know. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Thank you, Highness. Thank you, Thank you, Prince came back from America. Have you seen her? I am surprised as well. I don't know why the Queen suddenly hates her. Isn't it obvious the reasons for her action? How do you know? Ineka, of course. It should be Ineka. You all know that the Queen Mother loves her so much. It's true. I have been thinking the same thing. But I don't think so. Initially, the queen liked her, and suddenly hatred came from nowhere. Besides, the prince doesn't even know Ineka. But besides, the prince doesn't even know Ineka. Yes, so, 
sweet now. Her Majesty is just, is just trying to uh, match me people. Get if I saw I'll give me Um the prince was here earlier today. The prince? Yes. Uh, why did they tell you why he came? Who, who was he looking for? What kind of question is that? He has not seen you for some days now. He misses you. That was the reason he came. Mother, do you think I'm doing the right thing by avoiding him simply because of what his mother did? You know, the prince loves you a lot. So you are not being fair to him by avoiding him. I think it's time for you to go to the palace and look for him. That's the best thing you should do. Competition of who go marry the prince here. It is a contest. A contest. Now who go marry the prince? I have a fan as a It is a contest. A contest. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma. Yes, but it's been a long time. I thought you have abandoned us. How can I abandon you? I did not abandon you. Right. Oh, ma. ma, is this your new, your new car? Is it your car? Yes, it's my car. Thank you. It'll be fine. <laughs> Thank you. How is the prince? He's inside. Yeah. Yes, ma. And Her Majesty? No, uh, she went out this afternoon with the maidens. I've not seen her. Eh. Uh, yes. Okay. And take this, share with your colleagues. Hey, thank you very much, ma. I, I will share it with them. Equal, equal. Nobody got that cheated. Hi. <laughs> Oh God. I'm so sorry I left you. Her Majesty hit me at this point. I didn't know how to come around the palace. And you didn't even bother to come for that funeral? I'm sorry. I thought staying away from the family at the moment would make her happy. Not knowing that I was hurting the man that I love with all my heart. You have no idea how much I missed you. I missed you too. Oh God. <laughs> God, I can't believe this is you. <laughs> but just, just see. You need to call me. Oh,
What message have you brought for us? Your Majesty, send for your son, the prince. The message I have concerns him the most. I am sorry, Ezemu. My son is not in the palace at the moment. He stepped out. Can you please give me the message so that I will relate to him when he comes back? A child suckling, suck her mother's breast. So what belongs to him is also yours. I will deliver the message, but make sure you relate it to him because it is what he must do before his coronation. Of course, there's more. I will relate to him. So go ahead. Hope you know that before the prince will ascend the throne of Obiago Kingdom, he must get married. Sure. I even have a girl already for him to get married as quickly as possible. So we on course. That's good. Are you also aware that the first wife he will marry will be sacrificed to the gods? She will die. What? first wife, my own son will marry, will be used as sacrifice to the gods. Yes, according to the tradition of our land, the first wife of the prince must be sacrificed to the gods, after which he will marry the second one, which will become the queen of our great kingdom, Obiago Kingdom. What? Are you saying I am not the first wife? Of the late king? Yes. Ed, you wouldn't have been alive by now. But how come the king never mentioned it to me? Because it is not a story that everyone should know, especially women like you. I am only a messenger, the mouthpiece of the gods. I have delivered my message. The wishes of the gods should be done. Uje uje onona, uje uje onona. Okoro bi ahono mau kele mau na minugo. Okoro bi ahono mau kele mau na minugo. Uje uje onona. What kind of a tradition is this? That wasn't the first woman the king married after all. But I'm still surprised why the late king kept mute about this. Now what do I do? I am confused. I cannot allow Nick, my beloved, to be sacrificed. No way. I, I think the best thing to do is to allow Chiamaka to be sacrificed by marrying my son. After that, I can then make sure he marries a Neka. That is the best thing to do. But the problem is, I've already rejected her. I haven't even seen her in the palace. Neither have I seen her with my son for over a month now. How do I go about this? I know what to do. The solution is just for me to tell my son to bring her to the palace and then start from there. I am sure Shamaka will be very happy to know that I have let go of my hatred towards her. Yes. That is what I will do. You again? What Good is it? Again. Good to see me. What is it? What do you want from me? Are you stalking me or something? No, I'm not. I'm not stalking you. Why would you say something like that? So, what is it? If you're not stalking me, what is it? Okay, let us see it is a coincidence to see you again. Oh, really? It's a coincidence. Oh, really? I feel you're stalking me. And stop it. I don't like it. Hey, Ineka, calm down. I'm not stalking you. I, I, I don't know why you're saying things like that. Okay, fine. Um, What's that your name again? My name is Jerry. Jerry. Jerry, please. I beg you. I am not in the mood for this. Stop stalking me. Stop it. I I stop it. Huh? What's all this? What's all this? 
You don't let a woman be. I, I don't understand. You're telling me you're not stalking me every time you're following me. Um, that thing, mm -mm, I don't want to hear it. I don't want so just leave my own my praise friend, for me. My friend. Leave my praise ne, for baby. me. Eh, eh, don't even start. Mm. Don't ask me of my prince. I'm okay. not telling you anything. I, I just wanted to find out something. Find out what thing. <laughs> eh, 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 Esther, <laughs> be careful with me. <laughs> Nega, you know I'm the only friend you have. I it's know. like it's like you don't understand again. Hey, but not for my prince. Okay. <laughs> it's a secret something. Are you serious? Eh, eh, your eh, relationship is not secret eh, because me, I don't have a boyfriend. It's personal. Me. Don't worry. Once I get to the palace, I'll look for one guy for you. My friend, my friend! <laughs> my friend, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please stop? Why are you oh, doing like thanks this? Thanks once again for coming around. You're such a sweet heart. Mm. You know? <laughs> what to do now? You're my mm. one and only friend. I know. I'm, I understand. I'm so happy I can put a smile on your face. Hey. <laughs> and I'm equally happy that your mom is well. Yeah. She even went out. Mm. And that means God is at work. Mm, she's very strong now. Very, very strong. Oh, thank very, very God. Strong. Thank Thanks God. For coming. I really appreciate my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> Why is it that you like teasing me? Why is it that you like because praising you're me? You're just too good for my liking. Oh. 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 This is why I like this. my joy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, my All friend. Right, Thank you. Yes, so before my mother will cut off my neck, she asked me. Take care of yourself. Humans in their capacity, things they are wise. They do things diplomatically, thinking that. They have the master plan. Mom, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Sit. There's something very important I want us to talk about. Go ahead. It's about Chamaka. What about Chamaka? You know I don't like Chamaka. But that is not the problem now. The thing is that I've thought about the whole thing. And I've come to find out that you two love yourself so much. So I've decided to give you two a chance. Are you being serious right now? My love, I'm dead serious. Your happiness is my top priority. I always want you to be happy. So, bring Chamaka to the palace as soon as possible. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll bring her to the palace. That'd be nice. Thank you. <laughs> Spoil me a little. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Let me call her right away. All right, darling. Wow, this is good. Kamsa, you will not believe. My mom just gave consent to our union. Yes, just like that. She called me and, and said uh, um, I, I should go ahead with uh, the plan of getting married to Chamaka. Exactly. Of course, you, you can tell from my voice. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. You know, my coronation is around the corner. So, um, makes it very easier being there with the woman of my life. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And of course, um, uh, your, your own congratulations is around the corner as well, huh? Okay. All right. See you then. 
<sighs> wow, this is this is good. This is good. This is good. Guess what? You're so excited. Tell me what's going on. Uh, guess first. You know I'm not good at guessing. Uh, oh, okay. Where, where is Mama? She's inside. Really, can you call her for me, please? Please just call her. Mom? Oh, God. Mom? Fine. Mama? Is that. Oh, my friend. Mama? You are here? Yeah. Welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Um, How are your mother? The good news, the good news. You see, my mother, the queen, just sent for my woman. She said to let Chiamaka to come around and, uh, you know, she wants them to discuss of something important. And guess what? That would be us. <laughs> oh my goodness, God! <laughs> Finally. You are joking. Yes. Wow. I'm elated. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Thank God that, exactly. Hang on, I thank God that at last Her Majesty has accepted to invite my daughter over. Finally, finally. 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 So my love, no time. Let's go. Let's go. Do you need to wear anything, or yes, you're going like this? Some time. I'll be right back. Okay, please pass. <laughs> oh God, God, I thank you. I think you that finally things are falling into place. And at least the queen has finally decided to let my daughter and the prince be. The two two. Could there be any hidden agenda where the queen is? Can I trust her sudden change? I am happy and at the same time bothered. Could there be something wrong somewhere? God, please, whatever it is, take absolute control. I hand over everything to you. Mother, thank you for answering to my call. You're welcome, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. I actually called you to apologize for everything I have been doing to you all this while. Please, I am sorry. Forgive me, please, my child. Your Majesty, it's okay. I pay no grudges against you. Wow. That's nice. Thank you so much. You are indeed a wonderful person with a heart of gold. Thank you so much. This is going to serve as an invitation, an honor to have you, because the princess's coronation is coming up in the next 
three weeks. And I, I want you to be there. I want you to look exceptionally beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you. As for your costume, I'll take care of that. You heard it from the horse's mouth. It looks so beautiful on that day. Thank you. I've heard you, Your Majesty. So are you careful? Do you, do you care for anything? No, I'm fine. Sure. Yeah. Please take something. No, Your Majesty, I am fine. Trust me. You say so? Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, son. Thank you so much. Look at this one. Stupid girl. You want to come into my family and become the next queen after all your mother did to me. With my dead body, will I allow a daughter of a traitor be my daughter-in-law? Let Elu, the queen of Nsoka Kingdom. It is unfortunate she doesn't know that her marriage to my son is her doom. After all, she's going to be sacrificed to the gods. And afterwards, I can then bring my beloved Neka to marry my son and be the next queen of this great kingdom. Competition of who go marry the prince here. It is a contest. A contest. Who go marry the prince? So, bro, um, how did your meeting with Her Majesty and Chiamaka go? Her brother. It was actually heartwarming to see my mother finally reconnecting with my woman. Are you serious? <laughs> she even promised to make her a dress for father. You will not believe it. Wow. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you. I mean, congratulations on your reunion. <laughs> you, you. I'm the happiest man on earth right now. Congratulations to you again, man. Thank you, At bro. least you can have your coronation in peace. I swear <laughs> down. With the woman you love beside you. Yeah. Let's just do that, man. Of course, bro. <laughs> sure, bro. Hmm. hmm. On that day, it's, it's going to be incredible. I mean, there will be a lot of... You already know. You, you know, you know, you know, right? <laughs> My daughter, how are you? What is it? You're not looking happy. Are you okay? I'm not okay, my queen. I'm, I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. What is it? Are you sick? No, my queen. My queen. I heard that the prince came home with another girl and you never mentioned it to me. Oh. I am sorry about that. Of the truth, the prince came back with a woman. <gasps> From the next village. But I never approved of their relationship. You know why? No. It is you I approved for my son. And not any other woman. Are you sure, my queen? Absolutely. You are for the prince. And the prince is for you. No other woman in between. Okay. No problem, my queen. Well, my queen, can I go and see him now? Let me go see him. I think he's around. Go ahead. Okay, Your Majesty. I'll, I'll be right back. No problem. Your bag. Leave it, I'm coming. <laughs> Who are you? And why are you coming from the prince chambers? I don't understand what kind of flimsy question is that. Who 
are you? I should be asking you. Oh, really? So you are the chief slut that has been flirting with my man. Well, your time is up. I want you to leave this palace immediately. As who? Who do you think you are to give me such orders? Well, I'm sorry to bust your bubbles. The prince and I are getting married soon. He's my fiancé. <laughs> getting married very soon. Well, I don't have time for this rubbish. I am going to inform the queen immediately and she will be the one to throw you out. I don't understand what is going on. I don't understand. My queen, you promised me that your son is going to marry me once he returns. But everything changed. Not only that I met a girl in his chambers, but I met the one that gave me the highest insult of my life that I cannot forget in a hurry. I I'm sorry about the insult. Please forgive me. But that, that was Chiamaka, the one I told you the prince came back with. Oh, but that shouldn't bother you. I have everything under control. You are going to be the next queen of this great kingdom. Put your mind at rest and focus on ascending the throne with your husband, the prince. The prince is yours and nobody is taking him away from you. Okay? My queen, you promise. But I'm still living my promise. My word is my bond. It's okay. Don't worry yourself. Idiot. Do I blame her? I blame my son. I brought that idiot into this palace. It's my son that is bringing me all this insult. Yeah. The commoner talking to me in that manner. Imagine. I don't blame her. If she knows what awaits her. She won as fast as her legs can carry her. She doesn't know she's a sacrificial lamb. Feed for the gods. Let her wait and see. After the coronation, let me see if she still has the audacity to talk this nonsense. Idiot. Pour this wine for me. Why? What are you standing there for? Get Okay, Nikwa. What is it? Why is the face like this? Is he not the queen and the prince? Okay, Nikwa, what happened? I went there now to go and see the queen, as usual. Uh -huh. So, when I got there, I asked the queen, what of the prince? Uh -huh. He said the prince is in his chambers. I said, okay, let me go and say hello to my prince. Mm -hmm. Get into his chambers, I met another girl there. So what happened? I met another girl. I was like, uh, hello, what are you doing in, in my man's chamber? He, she was like, I don't understand. Why am I asking her that question? I said, what are you doing here, Mr. Girl? Tell me what you're doing here. She was like, I don't know. What are you doing here too? So, what did the prince say? Uh, like a girl that is jealous now. I got jealous. So we stay exchanging words. I stay confronting her, telling her, please get out of this place at once. Get out or I'll call the queen to throw you out of this palace. And Guinea the, the, the prince came in. Ah. When the prince came in, the prince gave me the worst insult of my life. And what did the queen say? Not the queen, the prince. Uh, and what did the prince do? The, the prince asked me not to step my foot in this palace again. That the next time I'm going to step my foot in this palace, that he's going to cut off my two left legs. Hey! The queen, so what again? The queen was, was calm. She asked me that I should chill, that I should not say anything, I should not complain, that what she knows that is... I'm going to be the prince's wife. Hey, calm down now. Since the queen said they are still going to be the prince's wife, so don't calm down. Mama, you the one saying this. I met a girl in my man's chamber and you're telling me to calm down. How can I calm down? A girl, a girl uh, with full breast and ass. You're telling me I should calm down. Hey, since the queen said that you're still going to be his wife, so don't bother yourself. This you is the same thing the queen told me that I should calm down and you're still telling me the same thing. Butu, Butu, Butu. All Butu. these girls from America. Huh? Mama, all these girls from America, I don't trust them Butu. with my man. Uh, no problem. The queen is still with you. 
Since the queen said you are going to be the... Mama, please leave me alone. I don't understand all of you in this house. I don't understand. Uh, calm down. Calm down. Oh? Competition of who go marry the prince you. Aha, it is a contest you. A contest you. Now who go marry the prince you. I have only fun as a no. It is a contest you. A contest you. Who go be the future queen no. Of a new fun as a no. Only a fun now with your plan no. A contest you. Child strategy game master plan as it. The marry the prince you. What is the problem? Since you came back from the palace, you've been pacing up and down. You've been perturbed. You have not been yourself. If I ask, you don't want to tell me anything. Please, tell your mother, what is the problem? Mom, that's me to it. That good for nothing brief I've had the ghost to come and confront me in the palace. A refrat. Who was that? A girl or a boy? Who? Mother. The queen had to arrange a fiancé for the prince. A fiancé, you said? You met her in the palace? Yes, and she confronted me. Hi. That's a desperate. The girl has the impetus, the audacity to confront you. Why? Um, where was the prince then? And what did he do if he was around? Of course, he stood for me. Good one. Good. He stood for you. Um, did the prince try to do something to make the girl know that he is by your side? Of course he did. He did? Okay. That's good. And that serves the whoever it is um, right. Is the girl pretty? She is beautiful. But not to worry. Hmm? I know my queen. She cannot equal you in beauty. Because you are the most beautiful girl, not only in this kingdom, but in the whole universe. I trust you. Hmm? Don't let that disturb you. Don't let it disturb you at all. Okay? I've already prepared... Your favorite. Let's go to the dining so you can eat. Don't disturb yourself. The prince is by your side. Hmm? Mother, I don't think they have appetite for the Mommy, look at that jalive I want to buy for you. Which color do you want? Do you prefer the black or the white? Which of them? I prefer the white. Oh, we have light minds. <laughs> white will surely... Ma, what's the meaning of this? Please, can you throw this clothes? Throw it away already. You have fine clothes in there. What are you doing with this one? Here. Good day, Ma. Uh-huh. Um, what are you doing here? Who are you and um, who are you looking for? Uh, Ma, my name is Kamsi. I'm the owner of son, a friend of the prince. Um, Nick, I'm sure you recognize me. Of course. Yes, I do. So the prince, he sent you to come and apologize on his behalf, right? Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand. You don't understand? Yes, I get it. I get it. Kamsi, right? You don't understand. You're pretending like you don't know what he did to me the other day in the palace. He humiliated me. You're here pretending that you don't know about that. Um, um, look, um, I think we've got it all wrong here. Nick, I haven't the slightest inkling what you speak of. I, I mean, I traveled two days ago. I just got it now. And I decided to come and see you before I go to the palace to see the prince. So I, I am lost. You're lost. Okay, it's fine. Uh, tell me, what, what is it? Why are you here? Why are you here? Um, Chapolo. Mm. Mm. Sit here. I'm inside. Thank you, ma. 
um, Nega, I, I have something very vital to speak to you about. Can I at least sit down so we can talk about it? Please? Thank you. Um. So, what is it? I'm listening. Um. Nika. In all honesty, I... I am in love with you. Wait, wait a minute. You're in love with me? Like, please, Kamsi. I am not in love. I am in love with the prince. Your friend, not you. Um, Neka, um, <laughs> I love my friend so much. And I am not here to assassinate my friend's kind. But the truth is, he's in love with someone else. Yes. know what you're doing? Kasi, do you know what you're doing? Do you know what is going to happen to you when your friend finds out that you are telling me this? The royal household will cut off your head. I bet you my friend will be the happiest man in the world to know about this. What are you talking about? How? Well, um, the first time we met at the palace, um, my friend and I, we talked about you and I told him how beautiful, how gorgeous you are and he gave me the go ahead to talk to you about it, you know, to see if there's a possibility of us, you know, getting along. Then look at you and I today, um, I mean... He, he actually gave you the go ahead to talk to me? The prince did? Yes, but no, no bad strings attached. I mean, look, um, Neka, ever since the first day I saw you at the palace, I have been engrossed with thoughts about you. I mean, I just can't stop thinking about you. I mean, it's a good thing. It's, it's not something you're supposed to be sad about. Please. You don't have to be sad about it. It's okay. Um, I mean, it's it's fine. Um, please, can you give me a little time to think about this? Sure. I mean, you have all the time in the world to think about it. Just, just take your time, okay? It's, it's a good thing. Please, but I, I, I don't want you to be sad. Okay, let's give us a chance. Okay, I'll help you. Thank you. What did the young man come for? Mama, nothing. It's nothing to worry about. Don't worry about him. How can you tell me nothing when I see genuine love sparkling from his eyes? Hmm. Prophetess, you've seen it all. Genuine love. Mama, please, I said, there's nothing to worry about. Forget about that young man. Uh, I know that, uh, yes, he may be in love with me, I know. But, Mama, you know that I'm in love with someone else. I'm in love with the prince, and you know it. But, mm -mm. Prince, you and I know that the prince doesn't love you. He never loved you. He loves someone from America. So it's high time you forgot about the prince and move on. Mama, it's not that easy. I know. Move on to where? Why do you want me to move on? I'm still in love with the prince. Forget about this one. Forget about this thing you're saying. Handsome, whatever. I'm not going to eat handsome. I'm not going to eat it. It's okay. I understand. Hmm? But you have to move on. You know what? Hmm? 
Just give me time to think about it. No problem. Yeah, exactly. I'm really starving. Please hurry up. You're not even done washing. You're not even done cleaning what you're doing. No, come on, eat it. Madam, by the time the Queen Mother steps in here, I'll meet you still today. I'm sure you know. Very important. Oh, yeah. Go and tell her I'm not done cooking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be careful. What happened? Huh. What again? Huh. Do you know the reason why the queen has said that she might be sharing my cat and marry the Is it that one? You started the game with your fake news. What have you brought to the table this time around? Please spill it out. We are listening. Wait. It's as a result of what the tradition demands. Yeah. Chef Angela, mm. what exactly does the tradition demand? Good question. Listen, let me break it down. The tradition demands that the first woman the prince will marry will be used as a sacrifice to the gods. What? Mm -hmm. hmm. Wait. Then after that, the prince can marry another woman as the queen of Obiago Kingdom. Hey. Mm -hmm. Jesus. What? what? Mama, I need to talk to you. I'm not here, it's going ahead. Do you by any chance have an idea of any Ubiago? tradition that has to do with the heir to the throne being sacrificed to the gods. Heir to the throne being sacrificed to the gods? That's, that's barbaric. What kind of a tradition is that? I'm, I've not heard of it. I, I, I don't know. Well, I overheard from the palace chief yesterday that whosoever that gets married to the heir to the throne is being used as a sacrifice to the gods. And in letter words, he can get married to another woman. That woman becomes the queen of the kingdom. Bano, Chukwaj, are you sure? You had them well. Are you sure that was what they were saying? I heard them clearly and very well. They were only planning to tell me in order to save my life. Mom, why would you think they would fabricate such story? Remember the sudden change from hate to love? Um, what do you intend doing now? Because the coronation and wedding is just a few weeks away. Mama, I am going to walk away. You know, I was already done with all this bullshit before the queen emerged from nowhere. That's a good one. Of course, even me, I wouldn't like to lose my child in the name of marriage. <laughs> to hell with the queen. To hell with... Wait. Wait, so she wants to sacrifice my only child just because of a mere misunderstanding we had a few years back? What misunderstanding are you talking about? Um, Mom, hmm? what misunderstanding? Does it have to do with the fact that I was rejected? Um, it's a story for another day. Don't worry. I thought you didn't want to come back to the palace after what transpired between you and Chemaka. My queen, I won't say that I'm not hurt. I was hurt, but I'm fine now. I've been busy, that's why I'm not seeing you. Oh, that's good. It's okay. It's good you're here now. 
So tell me, what would you want to eat? I'm fine. I'm okay. I don't want to eat anything. I'm only here to ask you a question. Go ahead and ask. My queen, you told me that you don't like Chamaka. Oh. That you don't want her as your daughter-in-law. Ah, my queen, I don't understand. Why are you acting nice towards her? What's changed? Tradition. Tradition. What do you mean? Well, it will interest you to know that. The tradition of Obiago states that the first woman, the heir to the throne will marry, will become a sacrificial lamb to the gods. Eh? Yes. Afterwards, he would then pick a woman that will be his wife and queen. Have you seen why I've been preventing you from marrying the prince? Let him marry Chiamaka first. That will be used as sacrifice to the gods. After being the sacrificial lamb to the gods and dies, you will step in to be his proper wife and the next queen of Obiago. Can't you see now I think well for you? That I love you with all my heart? My queen. My beautiful queen. Thank you so, so much. I never knew you loved me like this, though. I never knew. Thank you very, very much. I like the plans. Thank you. Now you know. What will you give me to make me happy? I'll be royal. Anything you want me to do, I will do for you. I'm your royal servant, my queen. Now you can eat, <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. My queen, I'm ready to eat. In fact, I'm hungry. Tell them to bring everything in this palace. <laughs> Call me the maid. Thank you so much, my queen. I'm royal. <laughs> I, I, I can start with this. <laughs> My love, there's something I would like to discuss with you. Okay. When I was going to the kitchen to tell the chef to prepare something for you, I overheard them discussing something. I mean, with the meetings. They said that once the prince gets married to the first woman, she is going to be sacrificed to the gods. And then when he gets married again to the second woman, she becomes the queen of this land. Um, Esther Barrick, are you sure they were talking about our kingdom or another kingdom? Oh, come on, please, Steve. I know what I hate. But we're talking about your own kingdom. You're the prince. How come you don't even know about this tradition? I'm not sure. Our own kingdom. I'll go to the Queen's chambers to ask her. I need to confirm. No. Come on, please. Uh, I'm sure they already have their own plan. And I'm sure she is away by now. All we need to do is to pull ahead their own things. So what, what do you suggest should be done? I have a plan. One that will work perfectly well. Just make sure it's not something that will jeopardize our law or my coronation. I, I don't know what the plan is all about. It is not going to. And I'm going to let you know about it once it materializes. Okay? Okay. Chisholm Bay. Yes. Please, there's something very important I would like to discuss with you. Are you serious? What is it? I want you to marry the prince. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. I'm very serious. How can you just start spitting nonsense from your mouth? Huh? I am not. 
I am very serious. I'll be going for a course in the US for some months and it will take a long time. And I just can't leave without getting someone decent for the prince. That's where you're falling. You're sounding more serious than I thought you. I am. Okay. Even if I decide to marry the prince, what about the prince? Would he want to marry me? The prince has always liked you. And you know it. So of course, he will marry you. The prince has always liked me. Yes. <laughs> have you discussed this matter with the prince? I have. He's aware of it. And he agreed? Yes. Just say yes, please. Humans in their capacity Things they are wise They do things Baby, how did it go? It went well. I mean, she finally agreed to do it. After so much talking, I mean, trying to convince her, she accepted. She accepted? Yes. But well, baby, honestly, I'm not cool with this. I mean, how can you be comfortable? This is the life of your best friend, and you're not bothered that she'll be sacrificed. What do you want me to do, this? Come off it, it's her choice. Like she understands the implication and she accepts it. Yes, she does. Fully understood what she's going to pass through. Yes. Okay, in that case I need to I need to talk to her, so I'll 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 confirm. Okay? Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. No problem. I just try and fix the meeting between you two and that's it, right? Yeah. That's it. Adani! The great deity of our forefathers. I present the heir to the throne and his right to be before you. Bless their reign, make it a peaceful one, and bless their union with princes and princesses. May they not suffer illness and sicknesses. Bless their union with a resounding resources. You may rise. Elder of Afrobiago Kingdom, I present to you your new king and his queen. King Ahamefula is the one of Afrobiago Kingdom. And his Lolo, Lolo, one of Afrobiago Kingdom. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Sir. 
my people of Obiago Kingdom. It is unfortunate that today is a happy day and a sad day. The Queen, are you ready for the task ahead? Yes, Hizimu. Now, follow me. <laughs> People of Obiago Kingdom, you have never been in the history of Obiago that a woman went into the shrine and came back alive. But today, all of us are witnessing a new era. The gods are wise. <laughs> Congratulations, Your Highness, for her successful marriage. The God gave me a message for all of us. And the message is that there will no more be sacrificing of the first wife of the heir to the throne. Congratulations. Let the celebration begin. <laughs> Congratulations, Your Highness, for a successful marriage. This is what happened at the shrine today. I saw it. I am so shocked. I don't even know what to say. You don't know what to say. My queen, you don't know. My queen, can't you see that our plans has been thwarted? Mm -hmm. What are we going to do? We're not going to fight the gods. I'll not do it though. I'll not fight the gods So I'll not do it. We have no right to fight the gods. We have no power to do that. So what do you suggest we do? What are we going to do? Nothing. Nothing! All we need to do is fold our hands and watch the will of the gods to prevail. The gods have chosen a bride for the prince, a queen for the kingdom. What else am I supposed to do to change their decision? I tried my best. I did everything possible to make it work. I fought. Maybe my 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 my, my plans, my plans, my thoughts were not good enough. This is hard to take in. This is it's hard to take in. It's, it's very hard. You mean to tell me that I can't have the prince again? The prince will not marry me again. Just this is so hard to take in, calm my down, queen. Sit down. I don't like this. Sit. Trust me, everything will be fine. I didn't wish for things to be like this. That wasn't my plan. Okay, it's it's fine. Ah, <sighs> well, um, my thing. Since is like this, I think I have to go for cancer. Which cancer? My son's friend. You've been together with him. 
that's my way, but not actually like that. Kansi proposed to me, but I, I asked him to give me some time to think about it, just because I was waiting for the prince to come around. This is the picture of the girl I wanted to get rid of. You don't have a problem. Consider the deal almost done. You know you can count on me. When am I expecting my payment? You will be getting your transfer. When? Before today runs out. Nice deal. Get the finance up. I'll give me canasa. We can no dear my Cause what we be we be I'll give me the messin' up. Name up for that Competition of who go marry the prince yo. Ah, it is a contest yo. A contest yo. Now who go marry the prince na? I have no fan of Sanoa. It is a contest yo. A contest yo. Who go be the future queen na? Up on the fan of Sanoa. Only for now we dey plan yo. A contest yo. Strategic master planner say. The marry the prince yo. Who go win this contest? A contest yeah. yeah. When you put na J and my cause what will be we be yo? Get the fan as so, um, Your Majesty, someone is planning a hit on your wife, the Queen. And I believe he was paid by some persons to assassinate her. Are you sure of what you just said? I am certain. Yes. These are the idiots. I'm going to ask you again for the last time. Who sent you? Your Highness. It was Chiamaka that sent me. She said the Queen stole you from her. Your Highness, I I was only trying to survive, please. Will you shut up your mouth? You are trying to survive. <laughs> shut up your mouth. You, you are looking at me. Officers, you heard him, right? Yes. I don't want to take laws into my hands. Do your job. Your Majesty, you are a very good lawyer by the citizen. And I promise I'm going to get to the bottom of this issue. Shia Maka will be apprehended. That I promise you. Please, Your Highness. Keep quiet. I said one more word. Yeah. You have been mad to Dama. Keep quiet. Humans in their capacity, things they are wise. Mom, I would like to know what transpired between you and Her Majesty years ago. I tell, I've told you countless times that nothing happened between us. Nothing that I know. Mom, I don't believe you. The Queen asked me to ask you. Huh. Nothing that I know. You would have asked her instead of coming to ask me. Uh huh. Mother, if you do not tell me what I need to hear right now, I am going to get up from here, pack up my things, and leave never to return again. Eh? I swear. Ah, no, no, no. It has not gotten to that. Eh? You don't need to do that. Um, it's okay. I will tell you all you need to know. I'm all ears. Um... It happened some 
30 years ago in Obumpa community. Wika. What is it? You're finally here. What's with the long face? I think Nebe is cheating on me with another girl. Why did you jump into such conclusion? Did you catch him with another girl? Not really. Just that his attitude towards me has changed. He no longer visits me or check up on me and whenever he does, he keeps giving me excuses. Why do you think his excuses are flimsy? Come on, I think you're worrying too much. But why is that? Are you, are you defending him? No! Defending him? No, I'm not. See, it's just that you both love each other so much. And I don't think he's capable of that. Anyhow, she better not because I love him so much and I can't afford to lose him. Don't but worry. You won't lose him. Is that why you're putting up that face? Come on, cheer up. Cheer up. <laughs> Let's go home. I prepared something for you. You're going to like it. I have something for you. You're going to like it. I hope you prepare my favorite. I beg. Is it your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my <laughs> Would you? It has been you all along, right? No, no, Nika, it's not what you think. Exactly, it's not what you think. So let me tell Please you. Please shut up! Nika, what did the two of you think about me? Like I'm a fool. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, it's not what I think, right? What about the son I had inside? Like that of a god who is about to put to bed. Eh? Answer me now. You can see, eh? You remember that time that we met at the village square? Eh? And you were complaining of his recent behavior. I just came to find out what happened. Exactly. That's all. Exactly. See, let me tell you, since morning she has been here. Thank God you, you have a friend like this one because she has been begging me since morning. You understand? See, if not that you came on time, I would have. Just shut to... up! Do you think I'm a baby? Do you think I'm a baby? I can't believe you betrayed our friendship just for this. I trusted you like a sister. You can go ahead and have my friend. But I swear to God, would you, if you come close to me, I swear. Oyaka. Oyaka. Oni. Have you seen what you have? Have you, have you seen what you cost now? Eh? I told you that we should stop this thing we are doing. That one day now she's going to find and say, No, that you have everything covered. Now, oh, hold it there. Are you blaming me for what just happened? Wait, so, were you intending hiding us forever? When you said you loved me and you preferred me, were you lying? I was not lying. But I didn't plan for it to end this way now. Check, you can never have a problem. I had to go with them now. It has happened now. The secret is now out in the open. So now. I have you all to myself, and you have me all to yourself. Isn't that what you've always wanted? It's what I want now, but uh, I'm not happy. You should understand. Eh? You should understand that this girl has spent a lot on me. Uh, you know, all this must be when I used to do some time. Why are you doing that? If it's you, check. Uh, leave it now. I'll handle it. She's my friend. I'll handle it. So, since then, I tried to get in touch with her so I can be able to apologize for my wrong. But all efforts proved abortive. So what happened afterwards? We did not reconnect again as friends. The last time I heard about her was when she was about marrying Prince Uchimba, the late king. Now I understand why the Queen Mother hates me so much. How could you be so wicked and callous to someone you call your friend? I'm so disappointed in you and that. Will you shut up? Don't tell me to shut up, my mouth. I said shut up. I would not have you talk about like that about your father. What is all this? Your father was not at fault. All fault was mine. I was the one that seduced him because I was madly in love with your father. He was innocent. Whatever. What I know is that both of you were wrong. You were callous to your friend. And now the same blood runs through my veins. What do you mean? 
I pushed my friend to send the into marrying the prince, knowing fully where that she was going to die. What? You did what? As if that wasn't enough, I still staged her assassination. I'm sure by now the police will be on the outlook for me. Hey! Hey, Chamaka Bugobo! Chamaka, how could you? How could you do such a thing? Oh, hi! Police! The, the, the police are here! Hi! No, I am sure they're here to arrest Hi! Hi! My name is Inspector Ken, and this is my colleague. Are you Shiamaka? Yes, sure. Shiamaka, you are under arrest for the attempted murder of Shisindu. Well, anything you say here will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right for an attorney. If you don't have one, the state will provide you with one. Let's go. Hey, there is a new shop somewhere, officer. There is a new shop. Arrest her. Hey, check her away. Shiamaka! You see destiny, There is no competition in destiny. It's the opposite, opposite, no matter what my time and do. Because our wives, because our wives. Hey. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Just wow. that. You look good as ever. Thank you. <laughs> Baby. Yes, darling. I'd like to take you to somewhere exquisite, you know, I'd like to give you a treat today. Seriously? Yes. Okay, so where are we going to? Um, oh, well, um, it's a surprise. So when you get there, I'm sure you'd like it. Surprise? Um, yes. Surprise is a surprise. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. L let me go change into something better. Oh, oh yes. Um, I wanted to, you know, put on that gown I got for you. The one that's quite very, you, you know what oh, I mean. Oh, baby, don't <laughs> stop. That gown is too revealing. Oh, I come can't on. wear it. It's revealing for me, and it makes you look phenomenal. Please. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making me shy. I oh, don't like it. Oh, it's okay. It's all good. It doesn't matter. Anything for, for you. For okay. <laughs> Anything for you. All right. Please I'll be... sit. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Mm. <laughs> um, my mom, um, I'm going out. I'm going on a date with Kamsi. Omoka. So, Mba, you want to fast again? At all. Omoka. At all. Yes. Opakeji. Hi. Opakeji. Ofuma. Opakeji. Ofuma. Hi. Nemo. Nemo. Let me go now. So, okay. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Of course. Don't forget me. I will not forget you. Lutapo. Two take away from Mama. you. Two. I trust you. You get what I miss, right? Oh, oh. Chinese. Oh, yes, Hi. Take it away. Oh, no. Two. Hey. For you. For okay, you. You know now. <laughs> oh. Mwa, mwa, mwa. Hey. <laughs> oh. Yeah, bro, I sent the documents. You received it, right? <laughs> That's good. All right, let me check them out. 
はい。Oh my god! Look at you! You look gorgeous! <laughs> yeah, come here, baby, come here. <laughs> you look phenomenal. Exquisite, spectacular. Just stop it. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Stunning. Can you please stop? Let's go. All right. You know we then. Okay. okay. Humans in their capacity, things they are wise. They do things diplomatically. Thinking that they have the master plan, oh, I, but they don't know the ways of the gods are different from the ways of men. So a man no propose the gods to this person, and so he be yours. The gods are wise. The gods are wise, oh, eh. The gods are wise. The gods are wise. The gods are wise, eh. They are wise. So yeah, wise. wiser than men, they yeah. always have the master plan. They are yeah. so wise, they are so wise. Yeah. Hey. They are wise, oh. So I can give you a gamma, no, 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 no